Hi, I play a lot of multiplayer games. Okay, maybe I have a problem, but for now, let's look past that. <coughs> I also develop games on this channel, so I decided to make a little challenge for myself and make my own multiplayer game. Let me give you some quick background info about me. I never done anything multiplayer, but I've been researching the options for quite some time. Okay, so the idea. While ago, I saw this post on Reddit. It's from the game Rainbow Six Siege. I saved that post and now the time has come to remake it into the full game. I think it's really funny and could be fun as a standalone game just to enjoy with the friends. So, first person shooter billiard it is. Let's go. Day 1. Days prior to this, I did a lot of research. And I mean a lot. A few months ago, Epic Games released their own system for multiplayer. But for the lack of documentation, I went with the Steam online subsystem. Steam enables you to use their ecosystem with invites and the best thing for a small testing multiplayer game is the ability to create a peer-to-peer -peer matchmaking without doing any router stuff and free. I can go in a lot more detail on this in a separate video, maybe tutorials, so if you are interested, let me know in the comments. So, what do we need? We need ability to create server, server list, joining server, and billiard logic. I started with the first person shooter template that Unreal provides because it has already the basics done. Like shooting, walking, aiming and crosshair. To install Steam, I followed the documentation and boom! Steam is installed. GG well played. Are we done? Hell no. Having Steam installed doesn't instantly make your game multiplayer, so let's continue. Bare minimum, what we need is main menu with two buttons. Host and join servers. When hosting, one player will act like a server and others can connect to him. Clicking on the host button will call this function, which will create the session with its parameters and then open the desired server map. Now we have a guy on the server, but there is no way of connecting anybody to him. There is a bit more stuff, but don't worry, it's not that complicated. Basically, I have two widgets. The first one has a container in itself and button to search servers. When clicked using this function, I can get a list of all available servers. I can also implement some filters, but I went with the most basic working solution. So okay, I got a list of servers. To display info about the servers to the player, I use the second widget. It contains server name, ping, number of connected players, number of max players, and finally the join button. Using the list, I can generate entry with all this info and add it to the container. There wasn't enough time to properly style these menus, but I replaced the first design with something better later on. The way to test if Steam works is a bit difficult. You need two PCs and two Steam accounts, but as we learned from the beginning, I have problems, so I have both. I'm showing you basically the smooth ride, but no, it was far from it. I got stuck countless of times and often on some really trivial things. I almost felt like I changed one thing, and everything broke. Once I got stuck so hard and after few hours I noticed it was because my disk was full. <sighs> well, that's the part of the game development. But I love it, so let's continue. Ok, so the time has come to decide if these floating guns will be a feature or I will fix it. Ok, so I worked on it more. Adding a body is pretty basic. I use free animations that Unreal provides and added third person mesh to the other players. There are these two handy checkboxes to set visibility on your player and other network players. I set the third person mesh so owner doesn't see it and others do and the first person hands are done the other way. Only owner sees them and network players don't. It's starting to look better. I also reworked the default shooting logic. I completely removed the projectiles and used just one line trace to determine what you are shooting at. If it hits something that is simulating physics, I will just add force to the point of impact. When you are a solo developer and you are in time rush, you will use everything available to you. I'm just preparing you to what comes next. So yeah, Knight with AK-47, oh sorry, KA-47, of course, 
playing pool with guns on futuristic neon table. Sounds great, right? Try to create the story for this one. <laughs> the night is free for this month and has this cool tape. Very cool. And this gun pack was also free a few months ago. And it's also pretty cool. It has a lot of guns. And now the pool table. Oh my god. I am never gonna financially recover from that. So yeah, it was paid asset, but pretty cool one. It has these two blueprints inside of it that just replaces the ball according to the ball number variable and the pool table where I store all the pool logic later. The built-in physics system is pretty decent for simple pool games, so I went with that. Playing with all the physics materials and constants, I wasted a lot of time because I wanted to get the feeling just right. I didn't manage to get it perfect, but due to the time restriction, it's okay. I've added trick boxes for all the holes and wrote this function to determine what happens. Having online game without the ability to communicate with your opponent is not that great, so I started working on the chat system. I highly recommend watching this tutorial if you're trying to add the chat to your game. This tutorial is quick to the point and all the actions are pretty well described. Okay guys, so we are nearing the end of this video. I managed to add one really neat quality of life change and that's the helper lines to see where the ball will go. We managed to get quite a lot of stuff done in 5 days and I'm pretty proud. There is ton more we can add in the future so let me know if you have some ideas. I will be playing this game with my subscribers so if you wanna 1v1 me make sure to join the discord. I wanted to go in more detail in this video but I got sick and I'm not feeling really well. I also added a couple of easter eggs in this video. Did you find any? Let me know down below. This was hardest video to make. I was trying to improve my editing, so hope you guys like it. I spent like 4 or 5 days editing, so make sure to leave a like and sub. I will be streaming some of my 1v1s on my second gaming channel, so make sure to subscribe there also. Thank you guys so much for watching to the end. You are the best and I will see you next time. Bye.